If you've ever dreamt of sleeping in Rapunzel's tower or living in a characterful woodland cottage like Hansel and Gretel, minus the evil witch of course, then these enchanting properties are sure to delight you. From turreted retreats to storybook homes that appear plucked right from the pages from a classic fairy tale, let's go ahead and take a look inside the best fairy tale homes on the market right now. Up first, we go to the Thatch House in Michigan. With the perfect name to suit its style, the Thatch House is one of the most impressive homes we've ever seen. The listing agents Christie International Real Estate seem to agree, calling the property an extraordinary and unparalleled gem that seamlessly weaves captivating stories within every room. Located in Michigan, it's up for grabs right now for a cool four and a half million dollars. The property dates back to 1918 and was designed by renowned visionary Earl Young. However, it underwent a remarkable three-year renovation in 2015, so now many of the rooms blend historic elements with contemporary touches. According to the listing, the renovation was completed with meticulous attention to detail and recreated the enchanting essence of a young storybook style. The house has plenty of dreamy living spaces decorated with rough stone fireplaces, timber floors, ceiling beams, and quirky alcoves. There's a sitting room, a kitchen, dining area, media room, a wine cellar, a second family room, and seven bedrooms and seven bathrooms. There's also a separate guest house that could be rented out as a cool holiday home. The crowning glory of the property though has to be its gently sloping natural reed roof, a testament to true craftsmanship. It was crafted from the finest natural thatch and reaped in Europe and carefully transported to the United States. Just a leisurely walk or bike ride away lies downtown, which is filled with independent shops and restaurants, and also has a picturesque marina and inviting beaches. What's more, the sandy shores and blue waters of Lake Michigan are just moments away, so how perfect is that? Up next, we go to Halkin Hall in the United Kingdom. If you're after something even more luxurious, a place so magnificent that you could call it home, perhaps this unbelievable mansion is sure to pick your interest. Halkin Hall can be found in the village of Radlett between L Street and St. Albans and is up for grabs for an eye-watering $15 million. With its picture-perfect exterior, boasting decorative turrets, climbing ivy, and pretty leaded windows, the house would make for a perfect villain's lair. Offering 15,000 square feet of flexible living space, the Elizabethan-style mansion was actually completed in 2006 and boasts an interior to match its dazzling facade. Step inside and you'll be greeted by a seriously wow factor spaces decked out with oak paneling, vaulted ceilings, and a lush marble. Listening chandeliers hang from the ceilings while soaring columns and statement fireplaces draw the eye, as well as a double vaulted entrance hall there's also an open plan kitchen with dining and formal living rooms and also a fully kitted out dining area. A home office with doors leading outside and a spiral staircase that leads you up to the library. There are plenty of modern extras as well, including a recently reconstructed octagonal shaped gym with an impressive double height vaulted ceiling. There's also an elevator to all four floors, as well as nine bedrooms and nine bathrooms, the pinnacle of which is the master suite. Located in the right wing of this incredible home, it has twin dressing rooms, a sitting area, an ensuite bathroom with dual showers and sinks, and a second bathroom with a steam room. Other luxurious additions include the home's 13 seat movie theater, which occupies the lower ground. Here you'll also find a full bar, a kitchen that can store hundreds of bottles of the finest wines and champagnes. Up next, we go to this quirky castle in Canada. About as eccentric as a home gets, this surreal residence is situated on an enchanting mountainside in the heart of Christina Lake, British Columbia. Available via Century 21 for just under a million dollars, the custom pad dates back to 1976 and boasts a storybook exterior like no other. Affectionately known as the Castle in the Forest, the fairy tale home was constructed from multiple layers of steel mesh and reinforced concrete plaster allowing it to take an organic and free-flowing shape. This is the same technique used to create the brilliant bubble homes that can be found all around the world. It's a traditional method, and it means the property will last for centuries, and it is resistant to fire, rot, and insects, all according to this listing. Inside, the home boasts plenty of charm, from colored concrete floors to impressive arched windows and doors, vaulted ceilings, stained glass accents, and there's so much more to fall in love with. The property offers five bedrooms, a snug lounge, a country-style kitchen, a music room, and even its own office. Perhaps the best feature in the home's impressive three-story tower, which houses all three bedrooms, connected via a stunning spiral staircase. We love the timber ceiling and gorgeous clad elements that act as an ultra cool headboard. Other features include a wood fire sauna, a 1500 square foot workshop, complete with an artist studio, both of which are said to be in great shape. Outside the 22 acre estate, 
is home to various patios for dining and relaxing, as well as a swimming pool, a greenhouse, numerous gardens, and orchards. There's even a standalone three bedroom cottage that could be turned into an awesome holiday home. Up next, we go to Castle Oaks Ranch in California. Authentic American castles don't crop up too often, especially all white ones with a fake horse standing guard outside. So if you're seeking a unique piece of real estate that's fit for a king or queen, then your search might be over. However, you'll need $2 million in the bank to be in shot with buying this place. Positioned on 40 acres of rolling hills in the city of Oakdale, California, the property was constructed in 1987 and is part ranch, part castle, aptly named the Castle Oaks Ranch. It's become somewhat of a local landmark due to its quirky exterior, but inside it measures 3,500 square feet and comes complete with plenty of impressive living spaces fit for a VIP. The luxurious ranch is fresh and light-filled, but could definitely do with a bit of modernization. Everywhere you look, you'll spot castle-like characteristics like wrought iron railings, but it also feels very homey, making it the perfect place for someone who wants a castle without all the drama of dealing with a historic building. Of course, the property has everything you could need to live a life of luxury, including a double height living room, perfect for welcoming visiting guests, a spacious kitchen, and a dine in island, not to mention a dining room, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a library, and even a wine cellar. Yet the fanciest space in the house has to be the elaborate bedroom with its impressive canopy bed, which looks straight out of the Buckingham Palace. Mirrored in the room, the bathtub, huge walk-in closet, the bedrooms fit for total royalty. There's even an amazing rooftop deck located in the home's turret. It provides 360 degree views of the whole valley. All the way to the Sierra Mountains, there's also a four stall horse barn, six car garage, and plenty of land. Up next, we go to Rapunzel's Tower in France. Locked up behind a set of high gates, this imposing property looks as if it were a full-time home of Rapunzel. Located in the Berry region of France, the unique building dates back to the 15th century and is waiting for its next fairy tale prince or princess to move in. For sale with Beast Realty for $550,000, the historic fortress was once one of the most important military hubs in all of Berry Province. According to the listing, it's a fine example of art and castle building in the Middle Ages, and it's also considered move and ready despite its age. The chateau's former lord, redesigned the castle considerably in 1460, but these elements were demolished in 1569 during the French Wars of Religion. Originally, you would have entered the castle via a fortified entrance, complete with a moat, drawbridge, and even more. Inside, there was a protected courtyard by four towers, but sadly, only one remains standing to this day. According to the listing, many historical figures have stayed in the chateau over the centuries, anywhere from Prince Asterius to King Louis and Henry of France. It is difficult to imagine what these prominent figures saw when they stayed here because the house has been well preserved. From its beamed ceilings to its stone walls and fireplaces, every room is bursting with character. With four floors, including a cellar, the house offers enough space for numerous bedrooms, a living room, dining room, and kitchen. There's even a square chapel and a round tower which could be turned into an amazing master suite. The basement boasts an incredible vaulted ceiling, a wine cellar, and a boiler room. Apparently, the spooky space was once used as a prison. Up next, we go to this tiny cottage in the UK. As gorgeous as it is tiny, this ultra cute cottage can be found in Calborn on the UK's glitzy Isle of Wight, and despite its size, it's for sale with fine and country for $500,000. With its particularly circular exterior, arched thatched roof, stone walls with white brick window dressings, five-sided casement windows, and a brick chimney stack, the house is bursting with curb appeal. Nestled on around three and a half acres of woodland, the teeny grade two listed residence also boasts fairy tale surroundings. And it also has a fascinating history. Known as the Sweetwater Lodge, the chocolate box home was designed by famous Regency architect John Nash who built it himself. It was originally the lodge entrance to a Westover house, which was designed by Nash and once owned by Colonel Barrett, a relative of the poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning Company. Inside, there's a hallway and beautiful kitchen, a lounge common dining room, a family bathroom, and two bedrooms. There are plenty of added extras with this home, too, including a gorgeous shed where the new owner could curl up with a good fairy tale book or even watch a magical movie or two during their downtime. The cozy shed comes complete with a dining area, a sitting area, and enough space to hang out. There's even a private on-site well, which feels very nostalgic to us. With this home, the words unique, adorable, and surprising all apply, so go ahead and grab it before it's gone.
Up next, we go to this French villa. A truly spectacular piece of architecture, this neo-Moorish villa lies in the coast of Brittany, France, overlooking the ocean. Regal and romantic in equal measure, the cool European castle will set you back $2 million in their local currency. This beautiful property was built around 1880 by the Count of France and was enlarged in 1906. Currently adjoining a four-star hotel, the buyer has a chance to create a dream home and a business opportunity all in one. Designed in the Moorish architectural style, the castle is bursting with characterful details like ornate windows, horseshoe-shaped arches, mosaic floors, and geometric decorations. The entrance hall alone is truly mesmerizing. Standing proud at 3,500 square feet, the residence has been split up into numerous apartments all around 1,100 square feet. It has a comfortable living room and fully equipped adjoining kitchen. There's also two spacious bedrooms with fireplaces and private bathrooms, one of which overlooking the island and Harbor Island lighthouse. The second floor provides a single octagonal room glazed on five sides and in need of a total renovation. It boasts parquet floors, wooden window shutters, and a private rooftop terrace with panoramic views of the sea. There's even a basement that could be turned into the ultimate man cave or hideout. Let us know if you would like to live in this place. Comment down below. Up next, we go to the Gingerbread House in New York. If you got a bulging bank account, then this whimsical home could be yours for $7 million. Known as the Gingerbread House, the adorable residence lies in Bay Ridge, a neighborhood in the southwest corner of Brooklyn, New York. With its sweeping roof line, candy-like brickwork, and chocolate box details, this one sweet real estate opportunity can soon be yours. The quirky residence was designed by architect James Serafield Kennedy for shipping mogul Howard Jones around 1918. The arts and crafts home was once described as the most magnificent residence in all of New York City, and it isn't that hard to see why. Everywhere you look, you'll find amazing architectural elements that are truly one of a kind. Once inside the 12 room home, you'll find plenty of beautiful elements that have been wonderfully preserved over the years. Think hand-carved wainscoting, marble mantles, hand-painted ceilings, stained glass elements, and mahogany and cherry floors. As for spaces, there's a living room, a dining room, a music room, kitchen, six bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a luxury lower level equipped with a movie theater and a gym. So this fairy tale home has very much been through great renovation brought to modern day. The primary suite is one of the finest spaces in the house thanks to its dual walk-in closets, full dressing room, fireplace, and it's flanked by two balconies on each side of the room. We love the unique curved walls that shape the room. Plus outside there's a gorgeous garden with plenty of characterful pathways created from stone, as well as a pool and a three car garage. Up next, we go to this fancy castle in Wales. Wonderfully named the Fantasy Glads Estate, is positioned moments from Shelley Beach in the Australian city of New South Wales, and is far more than it might seem. Yes, there's a modern castle built in the heart of the grounds, but that's really just the tip of the iceberg. So let's go ahead and get started with this castle. The rustic looking building features a spacious and light filled interior, the tiled floors, dark timber details, and high ceilings. Considered an iconic local landmark, by listing agents. McGrath, the property, was originally part of the Fantasy Theme Park that was in operation from 1968 to 2002. The current owner purchased it in 2015 and undertook a thorough renovation, creating what it is today. What's even better is planning consent has already been given for further development. Essentially, the buyer has the go-ahead to build nine more self-contained cottages on the four-acre estate. There's currently an array of themed buildings in the backyard, so the new owner will be able to add more and create an amazing fantasy-themed Airbnb retreat. So this is a home with a job thrown in. The estate also benefits from an adorable miniature church, which we think could be the crown jewel of the listing. Sadly, we can't get inside this building, just the looks from the outside. The interior will be brimming with character. The estate is home to pristine park-like grounds, gentle streams, rustic bridges, and brushland. Plus, it overlooks a beautiful native rainforest. The castle has also been granted approval to be turned into a cafe, so the buyer better bring along his wallet and his imagination because there's so many options with this property. Up next, we go to the Mushroom House in London. It isn't often you see a detached property in London on the market for $350,000 but the Mushroom House is no ordinary real estate listing. Located in the Wood Green area of North London, this adorable and unique home spans just 715 square feet, but packs a punch when it comes to design. Listed with a unique property company, the aptly named residence resembles an organic mushroom and appears to be growing straight from the leafy plot on which it sits. However, the building was actually once a lodging house for the gatekeeper 
and staff of the Chilts House Estate, giving us an insight into what Georgian wood green would have looked like. It's now grade two listed by Historic England, which described the building as having an appearance of a 19th century ornamental dairy. Built in the early 1800s, the property would have once been the entrance to an estate and all visitors would have passed through it on their way to the manor, which was sadly demolished in 1895. Nestled on a huge plot, which is incredibly rare in London, the residence is bursting with character, both inside and out. Spread across three floors, the main living areas are built around central double-sided brick chimneys, which decorate the middle of the ground floor. Also on the ground floor is a kitchen, a dining area, and a lounge, as well as a front and back door that provide access from all sides of the house. Upstairs, there are two double bedrooms, one with original brick fireplace taking center stage. Other key period features include exposed ceiling beams, parquet floors, and curved walls. There's also a unique bathroom that's been stripped back to its beams and plastered in a really lovely way. There's even a loft space that could be converted into additional accommodation, although the ceiling height could prove to be a challenge. Despite being historic, the house boasts underfloor heating that keeps it warm all year round. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Like I mentioned in the beginning, follow all my social media, and also 50% of the people who watch me don't subscribe. So just, if you're watching, just click the subscribe button. It's free, it means a lot. And then an alternative option would be to become a member, which costs a couple dollars, but then, you know, I'll be calling you guys, FaceTiming you guys. You get cool badges, you get exclusive videos. Um, I'll be making videos that I can't show, like public channel. So you guys get a ton of cool features and by clicking here and becoming a member. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video i love you guys thank you for the constant support feel free to share this video on anything and i'll see you in the next video later